What's going on everybody? Tyson here with Garage Life RC and I am out here today with my Creighton 4S and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this guy. Now I'm running on 4S obviously and I created a wing mount just to for it for fun because I thought it looked cool because it's red. Give it a little bit of flex. And also the front sponge bumpers uh, just so you can change colors around if you want. And these are kind of my, my test ones. So if they break, they break. That's why we use them so we can test them, make sure that they're good enough to put out there. Um, so while I'm snapping this body on here, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have a Creighton 4S and what kind of luck you've had with it. I've had mixed reactions. I had it out once. I had a huge, huge video on it that did awesome. Uh, sending it with a ramp and then I brought it out again and got about three minutes in and one of the... Uh, one of the rear clips on the drive shaft came out, so I lost my pin. So I had to wait to get new clips, which are on back order. So I ended up going to, I ended up going and getting whole new drive shafts just so I could get the clips so I could drive. It's gonna take me a second to get used to this. I was just driving, uh, a Typhon with my Futaba radio. Now I'm on my DX5C and the trigger feels way different. And I think I'm pulling to the left. And it doesn't, it's not turning very well to the left. It doesn't feel like. It might just be in my mind because I was just driving the Typhon. taking a ton of dirt out of this little area over here. Oh, I should have just went for the backflip on that one, my gosh. I suppose on the grass, the servo saver sucks. If anybody's got any good recommendations of a servo saver I'm all ears because oh I uh, gonna have to change it on this guy it's not very good but I haven't really taken it apart to see what will fit in there oh shit shaved that thing I thought I was good guess not one thing I'm not liking about this 5C compared to my Futaba is uh, the trigger just seems so deep. I don't want to pull it that far. I'm going to have to see if I can adjust that. I, like, I don't like having that much throttle range. I don't, I don't like a very big throttle range for some reason. Mainly because I'm usually always full throttle. Oh. Now I see a lot of people have some problems with the Outcast and the Creighton and I haven't had an issue other than losing a C-clip. A lot of broken chassis. I know some guys have broke two or three chassis on this thing and when I bought it, I bought some extra A-arms and some extra parts that I thought I might break. Chassis wasn't one of them. And thankfully I haven't broke the chassis yet. Oh, shaved it again. I guess now we're just cart filling for days. Guess that's a way to test out that wing mount. See how well that holds up. 
it's this DX5C, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to keep buying Futaba receivers for every vehicle. It's nice to have at least two radios. So I kind of just keep putting my Arma stuff on my, keep putting my Arma stuff on my Spectrum because it comes with those receivers. And then everything else I end up throwing on my Futaba. But it seems like it's kind of just when I'm go trying to get full speed to go to the ramps. It's probably just me. Again, I'm not 100% used to this radio. But I could definitely see some diff fluid changes. I think I broke a wing mount screw. It came out. Look, I guess I didn't have it in there tight. So, um, and this is the first prototype wing mount. The second prototype has a different uh, way that it fastens in there, so that should be already fixed. I just didn't want to waste a wing mount when I just want to really test out the durability. Oh! I guess I should have been <laughs> one trying to get to pull around a little bit sooner. Yeah, probably could have saved that. But I tried a little bit more harder. So now, like the first time I had this out was right after launch. Ah, my screw came out again. This time, it, yeah, it just keeps backing out. No big deal. Wing mount's holding up. The first think, time I had this out, you can go back and watch the video. I was just sending, 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 like I'm doing now. Didn't know any better. Everything was fine. And then right after that, I kept seeing everybody breaking chassis. So now I'm like all hesitant and thinking I'm gonna snap my chassis. I'd kind of like to see who's snapping chassis like on these things like is it are people are the ones that are really continually breaking the chassis or are they like the people from the arma like that arma sent out pre-releases to before you could even order these things because i wasn't one of those people and i purchased mine i think right after launch day and I haven't seemed to have an issue with it, knock on wood. Not with the chassis anyway, uh, but I did just, either something major happened or I unplugged the battery, which I think it's just a battery unplug. I think I just unplugged the battery. Yeah. Nope, and this has moved all the way up and kind of had that secure it was back here, but it's moved around. Finger feel temps, everything feels great. Let's see if I run that through there. Friendly reminder, if you're liking this video while you watch me put on this these body, uh, these body clips, you might as well not watch and just hit that like button subscribe if you haven't write a comment down below this is like halftime intermission we're at intermission i just want to check everything else out real quick just give it a quick look over yeah see my pin's still there when it came out last time i started chewing apart on that i got new new ones but i don't really see the point of putting them on until they break I didn't notice the servo saver nearly as much the first time as I am this time. A 
last time I was getting a, a lot more like uh, speed. I had more room to get a run. I had more room to get run last time in a parking lot. This parking lot's kind of short. A uh, little bit different of a ramp too. More short and send it. Oh, wow. The wind just came up like mad. Oh, oh. Surprised I didn't break anything. I slid right into the curb hard. See, it's kind of dusty, like some gravel and dirt down here. So then when you try to get on it, it kind of just slides a little. If you guys are hearing gunshots, or what you think is gunshots, let me tell you, it is gunshots. We, uh, we have a guard camp training base near us. I lost the screw to the wing. Screw came out. Everything else seems good. Oh, shouldn't have tried to. I think I unplugged the battery again. Didn't have enough speed to try go for two, but I tried. Oh, 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 okay. Yep, mm hmm Yeah, this time we did some damage. Let's look at this damage. Uh, so, okay, so first let's look at the chassis. Chassis's fine. Chassis's completely fine. But actually the chassis is not going to be fine i think when we take this apart i don't know how far the chassis goes if it goes all the way up but if it does we snapped it right here and then as you can see the hinge pin so we landed there we snapped off i don't know if this is the bulkhead or the chassis i'll have to look ah uh, that's chassis i mean i broke the bulkhead too I broke everything right in there. So, chassis, bulkhead, broke. Ugh. So there we have it. We broke the chassis in a weird, in a spot I didn't think I was gonna break it. Everybody was talking about a different spot. And I broke it right there with a stupid double backflip. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see in there on this camera or not, but we definitely snapped that off. The control arm's fine. It's just the chassis snapped. Again, I, or I don't know, maybe, maybe the chassis ends. No, that's the chassis. So I guess I'm ordering a chassis and looks like the lower bulkhead i'm not exactly sure how those pieces are but that is destroyed on that side too so let's get it back to the truck and we'll do a little after action report i don't know where this is from either huh oh i think it goes right yeah i don't know it's a piece of rubber we'll slowly drive it back to the truck Gotta get our ramp put away and see if we can keep that pin in there. Another successful bashing day with breakages. But at least we got a decent run out of it. Got some good footage to show you guys and what my experience is here with it. And uh, Now, it's going to be laid up for a little while because I got to order a chassis and I'm not sure if they're in stock right now or not. But what I was trying to show you guys, there's this little piece of rubber right here on the drive shaft. I don't know exactly where that goes or what the point of it is. I don't know if it goes in there. 
but I haven't taken the motor or anything out yet so I don't know how much stuff gets in there but now we're gonna have to change the chassis um, you can see in here we got chassis all broke up in there so anyway that'll do it for us today I'm gonna get the ramp loaded up and everything ready to go so thanks for checking this out I appreciate each and every one of you uh, like subscribe and we'll talk to you soon peace